I'm Sue Bixler from Ohio State University Stone Lab, and this is Clark, one of our captive colony members. He is an unbanded Lake Erie water snake, and we're here today to tell you about the connection between our Lake Erie water snakes and an invasive fish called the round goby. This is a goby. Gobies were unintentionally released into Lake Erie water via ballast water, Great Lakes freighters coming in from the Caspian Sea, bringing their load to the Great Lakes. Upon releasing ballast water, the goby swam out. Unfortunately, the goby is a threat to some of our native population of fish that are important parts of our fishing industry in the lake. This particular fish is now estimated to be about 10 billion in numbers in the western basin of Lake Erie alone. So Clark is a very special species of snake. He is related to the common or northern water snake, but he is found only around the Lake Erie Islands, a very small geographic location. So what makes Clark so different is, Clark is breeding only with members of his population around the islands, and they are losing their banding patterns. If you look at a northern or common water snake, the snake is banded. If you notice Clark, he does not have that stink distinct banding pattern that we often see in our northern or common water snake. Clark was federally threatened state endangered till August of 2011. Population was severely impacted by the loss of its food source, which was a mud puppy, an amphibian that we find in Lake Erie. The amphibian's population was disappearing and so it affected the food chain and Clark was sitting there or the Lake Erie water snake was sitting there looking for its next food source. When the goby came in, the goby is very similar. It's a bottom dweller. It's about the right size. It doesn't have a spiny dorsal fin. And so what we found is our Lake Erie water snakes really enjoy eating the goby. And due to that, the population reestablished itself as of August of 2011. And these little guys were the only the 23rd species ever to be delisted. They are considered still threatened. We don't want to hurt them or harm them. Population studies are done each year through something called a Nerodeo, which is a play on their genus species name. What makes this unique is invasive species very often or most often compete and they're harmful to the Great Lakes ecosystem. In the case of Clark, it actually helped us reestablish the population. Will he eat 10 billion round goby in the Western Basin? No, he will not. And are gobies a nuisance fish? Yes, they are. And if you catch one, should you get rid of it? Yes, don't ever throw it back in. But due to that particular uh, combination of having that fish released, this little guy's been able to make a resurgence back in our lake population. Does everybody love a snake? No, but we say you don't have to love them, just respect them. On behalf of Ohio State University Stone Lab, Ohio Sea Grant, our captive colony at Stone Laboratory, we would like to say thank you for taking a minute to learn about our Lake Erie water snake and its interaction with the round goby. We hope that you enjoy this environmental education video series on water. This was created by a collaborative effort, including Bendix, Lorain County Commissioners, 4-H STEM, Black River Watershed, Local Yaks, Lorain County Farm Bureau, Lorain County Metro Parks, Lorain Soil and Water Conservation District, Ohio Sea Grant, Ohio Department of Natural Resources, local FFA chapters, the Ohio State University Extension, and Lorain County 4-H.